Hi there, Drew Brents here, uh, Preamp 1003 and Broker Plus, and I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about the processing um, uh, pipeline, processing view for your uh, processors. So um, this is what it's going to look like when they log in, and they could set this to a light mode or a dark mode. I think the dark mode looks pretty cool. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we'll do the demo here in the light mode. This would be uh, the different pipeline statuses of, of you know, where the loans are. So in processing, in underwriting, approving conditions, clear to close, closed. And there's also some subcategories that we could trigger that I'll show you in just a moment. When you have a new loan that has been assigned to the processor, um, they are going to get a uh, new notification. And then if you open up that, um, it'll highlight if, you, if it's a brand new loan, it'll say new and it's highlighted blue if you haven't opened it. And, um, and then, you know, obviously as they work through the loan file, it'll move it into underwriting and proof of conditions and waiting on conditions. And like I said earlier, there is subcategories, proof of conditions, denied, suspended, waiting on conditions, conditions received, and so forth until you get that clear to close. Um, a couple notifications up here, if any documents that need to be reviewed, uh, if a borrower has uploaded docs through the, through the borrower portal, uh, they can review them here. Okay, same thing for locks that are expiring in the next seven days, let you know that. And then same thing with closings that are coming up this week. Up here at the very top is your conversation log or your general notes. So these are notices that we have from different loan files. So we can open those up. It'll actually drop us into that loan file and open up the conversation log. Um, also, I want to point out that our entire platform is, is actually uh, mobile responsive. Okay. So, um, um, so if, you know, your processors, you know, out of the office or whatever they they have their pipeline and have complete functionality all from the convenience of their phone just like the loan officers do okay so uh, let's go ahead and dive into a couple things up here so right here is your pipeline so anywhere you're in the system you can always just go to this and click pipeline also um, you have your personal settings right here so do you want all the pipeline open at once? Okay. Do you also want to be triggered if you haven't touched the file in so many days? Okay. And then, um, then your support and tickets will be here. And then we also have a YouTube channel up at the very top right for different tutorial videos. Okay. So let's go back and open up a loan file. I'm going to go to pipeline. Okay. And, uh, and so here we go. We've got uh, in processing. So let's go and open this up. I'm going to go to the Luke Skywalker one. By the way, if you notice that it also tells you who the loan officer is, okay, and um, uh, who the investor is, and you can hover over the investor, hover over the loan officer, and you can actually get uh, their information there. Hover over the borrower, you get the borrower's information. If you hover over the gear, okay, right here, the loan officer gets the same functionality. You, it's a little notification of, of um, whether things have been ordered and received. You can hover over the uh, calendar give you your uh, closing date, rate lock expiration date. Here's a quick uh, uh, shortcut to your conversation log and documents, uh, the document manager. I'm going to open up this loan file. So uh, right here, there's multiple scenarios on this particular file. So the loan officer would need to set one as a default and that, that would typically be done before it's assigned to processing. So right here, um, this is what the um, uh, what it looks like when you're in a loan. This is going to be your loan details where you know you structure or, or tweak uh, different things, loan amounts and you know taxes and insurance and you, can, you know, down here at the bottom you can see you know your uh, we bring in assets and show you the reserves, cash to close, total credits. By the way you can hover over the little I and it gives a breakdown of what those credits are. Uh, closing costs, I could click that and go there. We'll do that in just a moment. Uh, but the application, you just kind of go through the application tabs, and uh, and the way you edit it is you just you know look for the little edit buttons, okay? So you edit everything. So the so the user uh, the user experience is much different than some of the traditional LOS platforms. Uh, but you know, some of the, some of the things I want to point out is if you see an eyeball, you click this and it pulls up, you know, data. Um, for instance, on your liabilities, okay? Uh, let's say you have a bunch of liabilities and one is a collection. You could you could click the eyeball and it'll actually we actually pull in credit report data. Not showing it on the demo, but it'll pull in the late pays notes from the credit report. So you can see is that a medical collection or or what? So you can um, uh, edit that accordingly. REO declarations, GMI. Here's uh, your um, 
your breakdown, your summary. Okay, it also tells you who the loan officer is, processor status, and everything. Conversation logs up here. Okay, so right there. And by the way, um, this little red, this is a notice from the loan officer. Okay, message from the loan officer to the processor. Once uh, it has been viewed, okay, and then we go back, notice how the, they're all cleared now because they've been read. Okay, well, you can always add another conversation log if you like, or, or note to the loan officer right there. And now, see that's read until they read it, and then it notifies you blue that they, that has been cleared. Also, if you want to create like different uh, triggers to remind you to follow up with something, okay, you can go ahead and create those triggers or just general notes documenting the loan file. You could uh, add um, uh, people to the loan here, really that, you know, I would see that as something the loan officer would do more. You can remove right here, okay? Or if you need to reposition the borrowers right here, all right? Um, now, this is your credit scores, okay? And you can hover over which, you know, the borrower right there, borrow one, borrower two. two. Um, you can click the eyeball there and it actually will give you a credit reference ID number and the ability to, to, to repool credit. By the way, everything on the left is your workflow, so you can also get out to your actions and interfaces and you can pull credit from that tab, okay? Go you know, down there, it takes you to the same place, pull credit or reissue credit, whichever one you want to do, okay? Now, let's go back to the application. So you got the workflow on the left. Let's go to page two of the loan estimate, okay? Page two of the loan estimate, by the way, um, I referenced this earlier on the D on your details page down here at the bottom. If you click this closing cost, it takes you to page two of the loan estimate. Ideally, the loan officer would have already set up, picked this the, the template, okay, and dialed in the fees and everything. But this is where you can go in and you could tweak, um, you know, maybe title fees or you know, different things depending on what level you're working with the LO. So you could open up all your different sections, okay, lender credits and and earnest money credits stuff all the way down here at the bottom. Okay, so you can uh, work on the loan file that way. Okay, and um, if you need to send out an updated fee sheet, again, I would think that would be more an LO um, a role, but you know, this is where you access the fee worksheet. Okay, document manager. Okay, so if we go to all right here on the document manager, this allows you to see what is the borrower uploaded. Okay, and by the way, over here is where you can edit your 1003. So I've got my application here. Okay, and I could open up a loan file and I can, you know, edit my 1003 very easily as I'm reading the document there, okay? So um, also, the system will auto-categorize or auto-organize um, in different folders uh, things that borrowers have uploaded, okay? So we go to, um, let's say, maybe income employment, maybe assets, okay? And that's all customizable by the loan officer and through the system admin. Uploading docs, maybe someone emails you a doc um, and you want to drop it in the system, you just drop it in just like that. Okay, and then also this tells you what, as, as the system automatically asked for the borrower to provide. Okay, and you can, um, you can modify this and you can add to things and you can, you know, if you wanted to, you know, request more stuff. Okay, so, so updated, you know, updated things, right? Say, okay, I need updated things. Okay, there we go. So that adds it to there, to the borrower uh, toolbox, to the checklist the borrower has to update uh, documents, okay? All right, so that's the document manager. And by the way, you can download uh, individual docs or you can, you know, checkbox them and download them this way to upload to the investor portal, okay? So moving on, um, access interfaces, okay, running DO, okay? So running DO is very easy, just it's a couple clicks, submit, prove eligible, property inspection waiver, yes or no, and here's all your findings, okay? ERLA 3.4, for those of you that um, that would upload uh, an ERLA uh, to an investor's website, you just click that, it actually will download the ERLA 3.4, it's actually an XML file to the download folder on your computer, so you can bring it over to the investor. Assignments and tracking, critical dates, this is where you, you would document different um, things in the system. So notice here under the processing, okay, you've got these little, call these like these little arrows. These are little expansion items, and this is where you can 
you know, track and date when things actually, as you order different things, appraisal and title and receive them, it actually will, will, will mark this automatically. But if you need to, to, you know, alter a date or, you know, uh, adjust something, you can do that. Okay. And also same thing for the VOEs. Okay. As uh, things are ordered, it's going to check box those automatically for you and track those dates. But anyway, that's so you could play with the and, and, and use with the, the critical dates. Parties of the transaction. So this is where you would add different parties of the transaction. So just click the add button right there. Select who you're adding. So maybe, I don't know, escrow company. Okay. And if you don't have one from your drop down, you could add a new one. Okay. So as you add a new one, it'll be saved and you could reuse that one in the future. Okay. So let me try, let, let me go for, I don't know, let's look at real estate agent. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you know what? We already have one on this, so maybe home inspector. Okay, add new. Anyway, but you get the point. And again, since the demo, uh, we don't have much of a Rolodex built out on the demo, but as you use people, they'll still be in there to, to use again. Okay. Uh, processing tools right here your verification forms and your order forms. So, verifications. System's going to read all the different possible VOEs, VODs, VORs, VOMs. And as you order things, okay, so you would uh, actually click this, it's gonna give you a pop-up. And we've already actually on, the, on this demo, we've, we've already ordered these, but you can do a written or verbal, generate the PDF, okay, it'll mark the date of when you did it, and then you can mark it when you receive it back. And that PDF, then you can take it and send it to, um, you know, the different um, powers that be. All right, same thing for ordering title, ordering survey, ordering escrows. There you go, just like that, order survey. And then uh, you have your uh, disclosures. So right here you have your different disclosure library. You can create disclosures, select a print group, okay? Uh, I know processors many times are looking for, you know, hey, where's the, I need to send up to the investor an updated uh, 1003, okay? So right there we got the early forms right there. So, you know, you can create disclosures if you're doing that on behalf of the LO. And you can either send it to the borrower toolbox or you don't have to do it that way. You could actually just download it to a merged PDF and send it out through DocuSign or other eSign um, um, systems that you may be using. So anyway, that's a very high level overview of the, uh, of the software. And let me go back to the pipeline. You know, before I close, let me just, let me just point out a couple things. Um, like for instance, underwriting, initial underwriting. Let's say this thing gets suspended. Okay, notice how it's going to now drop this. It's no longer in, in a, so I don't have any loans in underwriting status now. Now this one's suspended. So I actually could, you know, it gives a highlighted bar. The loan officer's notified of that. And here I can move it back to underwriting or I could deny it. I am going to move it back into underwriting for now. Okay, same thing with approval conditions, waiting on conditions you know, uh, and so forth. So you can just sort of move through these different subcategories and it'll move it through your pipeline. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to us, support at preapp1003.com and uh, we appreciate your business.